YouTube. What's good, y'all? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's the wrong intro, bro. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. What is wrong with me, bro? Hold up, y'all see the cozy? Y'all see the cozy? Y'all see the cozy with my jacket? Yeah. Good job. It's your boy E M V M. Hold on, man. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Tonyo. Can we relate? Can we relate? And I'm back again with another video for y'all, man. You feel me? You feel me? Look, I told y'all I was coming with the consistent content. You know, I'm starting off slow, getting a posting at once a week. You feel me? Then we gonna move it up. You feel me? That's just how we gonna rock, bruh. No cap. No cap slap. I keep it goody on my side, jit. I like it ain't shit. You feel me? No cap slap. I keep it goody on my side, jit. Who really like ain't shit? <laughs> I'm geek. But yeah, today, I'm coming at y'all with a cool little story time. You feel me? This is gonna be how my knee injuries. Well, y'all probably never knew that. Well, like, I had like. When I was playing basketball, I had a lot of knee injuries, you feel me? And now, like, cause my knee steady is still like hurting and stuff. I gotta have surgery on the fourth and all that, you feel me? But I'm trying, I'm gonna tell y'all the story time of what led up to all that, you feel me? So boom, we gonna start off. Start off, it was my eighth grade year. My, I played basketball, like organized basketball, uh, since like fourth grade all the way up to, of course, now. So it was my eighth grade year. I had never got injured out of all my years. My eighth grade year, it was a uh, playoff, playoff game, playoff game. I had a cool little solid. I'm not gonna lie. I had a cool little twelve, cool little twelve point fourth quarter close game, close game too. Uh, it, we was playing one of the sorriest teams, bro. That's that's the thing that blows me. We was playing one of the sorriest teams. It was a, uh, it was a close game. It was fourth quarter. All right, boom. I think it was like, mm, I say, 37, 37. All right, so boom, 37, 37. Fourth quarter. It's like two minutes left. All right, so boom. We on offense. One of my teammates shoot the ball. You know, you chase the board. You feel me? So I go and chase the board. Boom. Jump up. Grab the board. Come down. When I come down, I hear like a, a sound. I'm like, and then like I try to get up. And I can't get up. I can't even walk. Oh, Rwan, Rwan, Rwan. I'm capping. I'm capping. I'm capping. Out the cap. <laughs> I went up for a layup. I went up for a layup, and it was an and one. I went up for a layup, and it was an and one. But when I came down, it was still the same, the same sound. But I just couldn't get up. Like, it was hurt. I never felt no pain like that before, bruh. So I was, I was like crying on the ground, all that, you feel me? So then, my teammates held me up, and the ref was like, do you want to shoot your foul shots, or you want one of your teammates to? I couldn't shoot them. I mean, I wanted to if I could. I wish I could. Really wish I could, because we could. That could have been a game changer, you feel me? So I couldn't shoot my free throws, my teammate had to, and guess what? Guess what, bruh? Guess what? It was 37-37. Let me remind... No. It was 39-37 now at this point because I had to end one. So, look, bro. Guess what happened? Guess what happened, bruh? And I, I know this nigga to this day, bruh. I know who it is to this day. I ain't gonna say no names, but guess what? He missed both free... He missed the free throws, bruh. He missed the free throws. So you know what that did, right? All right, so I'm on the bench. And like on the team, like I was the, the shooter, but like the best shooter on the team. And probably me and the other kid named Tony. Yeah, but other than that, I was like the best shooter on the team, bruh. I was like the underdog, like I was starting every game, but like when they look at me, I wouldn't be the type of person you would think like to be like a good basketball player. I was left-handed. You see a left-handed kid, like with a fade, cause at that time I had a fade, uh, my hair was blonde, like blonde, blonde, like more blonde than it is now. 
you would not think I could hoop for real. So I like I like being underestimated though, especially when it comes to basketball. Oh my god. <clears throat> so boom. It's uh 37, 39. So boom. Other team. So boy missed both both of his free throws. Well my free throws technically. So boom. Get back on uh the other team get back on offense. They score. 39 up. I'm like, dang, bruh. So then, like, it's back and forth, back and forth. Nothing happening, nothing happening. We're not scoring, we're not scoring. Then, it comes down to it. It comes down to it. It's like, uh, I say, like, 80 seconds left on the clock. 80 seconds left. So, I'm thinking we're going to go into overtime and stuff going to be cool. I'm thinking my knee, like, it's going to be chill enough for me to get back in the game. So, time goes down. All right, it's like it's like eight seconds. Away. Other team get on offense. So we uh, I think we was playing <clears throat> two three. Was we playing? No, we was playing man. We was playing man. And uh, all right, it was a nigga from the other team in the corner. So my man's had the, uh was playing down low. So it was a nigga in the corner. So. They pass the ball to the nigga in the corner. I don't know why my teammate was like down low. Like down low in the paint type shit. So, pass to the nigga in the corner. He shoot. Bruh, I'm trying to tell you at that moment, it felt like, you know how like in the movies, when it comes down like to the last shot of somebody winning or losing, everything is like in slow motion. Like you see like the crowd watching and like stuff like that. Bruh, I swear that's how it felt. So, boom. Uh... Everybody's watching. Cause it's like eight seconds left. Now it's like I say like seven or six seconds left at this point. So I'm just looking, bro. I'm like, bro, please do not make this, bro. Please. So boom. He makes it of course. End up losing the game. Blah 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 blah. blah. Alright, boom. So I go to the doctors. Back to the game. Bro, and when we lost, bro, that was like I cried, bro. I cried. Cause that like meant a lot to me. Cause it could have been a possibility if I was in the game, bro. We still we could have won. You feel me? So boom, go to the doctors. Doctors say, uh, what did they say? They said I popped my knee out of place. So it was like, okay, there's no treatment for that. Blah, blah, you just let it rest. You just stay off the court for a minute. So I'm like, cool. The season over anyway. So boom. Fast forward to 10th grade summer, going into 11th grade. I play AAU, you feel me? Play AAU, was it 10th grade? Yeah, 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 yeah. So boom, play AAU. It was my first time playing AAU too. So I was, I was, bro, AAU is so tough, bro. Like, I'm gonna I'm try to put, well, I can't now, but. I'm trying to play for uh like older league like when I hit 18, like my knee get better. So I'm trying to hit uh like a church league or like a men's league or something. Cause bro, I have a real passion for basketball, bro. Like that thing is like my meditation. You feel me? So boom. Fast forward to when I play AU. All right, things smooth. Boom. The first uh couple tournaments, couple tournaments. I was going off per usual, you feel me? So, yeah, it was one tournament. It was at this uh this college called Mount St. Mary's, bro. And like, I'm a pop. I took a picture that same day before I left the crib. I'm a, I'm gonna post it on the uh, screen somewhere. Too, you feel me? So yeah, is that foot up? We still recording? Oh yeah. So look, <clears throat> it was at this school called Mount St. Mary's. And look, I don't know why it was something. I had a feeling. Like the whole ride up there just didn't feel right to me. Like first we got lost cause it was like a big campus. We couldn't find like where the gym that we was playing at. It was just a lot, bro. Like my mind wasn't like really prepared and like there that day. So boom, we get there, we warming up. First game, I missed the first game cause I was late. We got lost. So, and you know, hey, you was like three or four games in a day. So boom, first game I missed because I was late. Second game, I get there. So we in warm-ups. I don't know. Like my leg, cause I don't miss legs. Like 
come on now. Layup line, I'm going crazy. Layup line, I'm going crazy, not missing. We get to the jump shots and like all that. So my shot is not hitting for some reason. I'm like, bro, what is going on? I'm gonna be like, I'm like, okay, this game I'm just not gonna shoot. All right, cool. So we get into the uh, get into the game. You feel me? I start, of course. Like, come on now. We get into the game. We playing. We hooping. I was like, okay, cool. This this game, maybe I was just tripping earlier. Maybe my mom was just, I was just panicking earlier. Maybe. So we 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 continue playing back and forth. Now I'm doing my thing, all my teammates doing their thing, you feel me? So it's like, we get down to, I think it was like third. Nah, cause AAU is in two halves, it's like first and second. It's not like first, second, third, fourth, it's in the two. So I think we in the second half, I believe. I don't know how many, uh, how much time is on the clock, but uh, again, this is, this is when stuff get hectic. All right, so we in the game. And then somebody, somebody, I'm on defense, so somebody shoot. I grab the board, come down. Land, I heard that same like little tear noise, but this time it was like, it felt more intense. I tried to, I tried to come down from grabbing the board. I heard the same thing. So I'm like, bro, what the, what the fuck is going on? I hear that same tear in my knee. And it was the same knee that I injured before. So I'm like, oh my. Ah, bro. So boom, couldn't get up, couldn't walk. We had to drive all the way from the school, Mount St. Mary's, back down to St. Mary's where I live at to go to the hospital. Then get to the hospital. They see it swollen and all that. Hey, I get an X-ray, I get an MRI. Go to the orthopedic. And they told me uh that I popped my knee out of place again, but I tore a ligament this time. I'm like, I never heard nothing like that. So I was like, I was like tripping kind of. So boom, it was like, you either get surgery or you do physical therapy. And like, yeah. So of course me, I don't wanna have no surgery. So I go to uh, physical therapy, do physical therapy, do my little workouts and stuff, man. You feel me? Stuff is getting back. Stuff is getting back right, bro. I don't know why. I had like a love and hate passion for physical therapy. Like I, I like the intense workouts and like, but I don't know. It was just annoying. But yeah, for, did physical therapy. Then stuff was cool. I was hooping after physical therapy. Of course, I got back to hooping. All that you feel me? So yeah, boom. Now we fast forward up to like now, like a couple months ago. So we was at Carver. If y'all don't know what Carver is, well, the people that live in St. Mary's, y'all know. But Carver is like a school where I grew up at, and like I've been hooping there, damn near for my like my whole life for. So boom, I was there. And, uh, I was with the bros, my coin, Dex, my little man, Javante, all them. You feel me? We hooping. So I try. I was dribbling. I tried to move, and I crossed over. Then like I heard the same joint in my knee, but the the difference is this time like I was still able to walk and stuff, but it was hurting. So you know me, I'm hard headed, but I still play. I keep playing through it, and it's the same knee too. So I keep playing through it or whatever. So I just, cause I was like, bro, I can walk, so why not just keep playing through it? So boom, I get home. This ain't hurting like crazy. So I just took a little uh, pain pill. Uh, took the pain away, you feel me? Then I'm starting to hoop. I'm starting to hoop a lot more again. My mom booked me another appointment. This was like two or three weeks ago. Yeah, so boom. Booked another appointment. Uh, I went to go see my doctor, my orthopedic. And he was, uh, he was feeling my leg and stuff. He was like, your knee still feels as if, uh, it's not like 100% yet, and it still feels uh, out of place. So I'm like, dang, bruh. He was like, you could do physical therapy again, or you could have the surgery. And then he was talking to me about how the surgery is better, so I don't gotta deal with the same issue again. All that stuff, you feel me? And then I was kind of iffy, because I was like, bro, if I get this surgery, bruh, I can't hoop. And like when I'm going through stuff, bro, when I hoop, that like that just takes everything away. 
So I was like, dang, bruh. And if I had surgery, I'm gonna be cooped up in the crib. And I don't really like being in the house a lot, you feel me? So I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna think about it. So Dr. Leave out, mom, shut the door. I was talking to my mom. My mom was like, she was like, what do you wanna do? I was like, I really don't wanna get surgery because you know I don't like being in the house, all that, you feel me? But she was like, if you get the surgery, if you get the surgery, you ain't gotta worry about nothing like this ever happening again. And I was thinking, I was like, you're right, because this kept happening. So, I was like, dang, I don't know. And then I was also thinking, if I get if I get the surgery, like, by me being cooped up in the house, bring more content for y'all, I could probably start the little gaming thing, you know? Just really get my bag for it, you feel me? So, yeah, so, Dada comes back in, we was like, you decide what you want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna do the surgery, man. I'm gonna do the surgery. He was like, good. He was like, because when you get the surgery, like the things that they do, it makes your knee like, from what he said, it makes your knee like five times stronger than it was. So I'm like, word. Okay, it's a must, bro. I'm trying to tell you, when I recover from this surgery, I'm getting, I'm gonna get back in the lab. I'm gonna get a cool little trainer so I get my uh, stuff right. It's gonna be up. It's gonna be up. I could I wanted to play at you this year, but it is what it is, man. So my surgery is on May 4th, bruh. Y'all wish me luck in the comments. Y'all like this video up. Subscribe, all that, you feel me? I'ma come with y'all with the content still, that ain't gonna stop. You feel me? Cause y'all my family, I can't leave y'all hanging, you feel me? And we trying to hit this uh 500 or this 1k. No cap. So Hope y'all enjoyed the story time, man. Surgery is made for <clears throat> y'all. Uh, hit me up on IG and like tell me good luck and all that. You feel me? They really mean a lot. And, uh, I've been tripping about this. The little surgery thing, I've been stressing about it. You feel me? So, yeah. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, man. It's your boy. E-M-V-A. Yeah. I'm Cap. He drink too much, lean, got a sipping problem. She the odd man, know me feeling like Jarvis. Nigga, what you know about me? Feel like little mama. Her a man's on my body, ain't no future drama. Bitch, wanna be a.